Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency tutorial video where I show you how to use Bitmax Exchange. Now this is the 2021 version of the exchange and to keep things short Bitmax is a crypto to crypto exchange but you can purchase crypto with fiat such as USD, Euro etc using a third party provider. However you cannot sell for a crypto your crypto for fiat so you will have to register an account on another exchange which supports that such as Binance when you want to sell for fiat. Now the good thing about Bitmax is that you can purchase some specific tokens which can only be found here on Bitmax and that is now considered a tier 2 exchange and has onboarded a number of those Polkadot ecosystem tokens. Now the first, tip that, the first step that you need to take is to register to Bitmax and of course the referral link can be found in the description of this video and you'll get 10% off your trading fees if you do use it and it would also help support this channel so I do want to thank you in advance if you do decide to do that. Now once you enter your details and that is of course your personal information you should see the same page as I'm seeing in your account page. Just one thing to keep in mind is that you do not need to submit documentation to Bitmax in order to be able to withdraw or to trade on this exchange so that's great. There is a limit per day that you can actually withdraw draw but of course if you've got more than that limit then you can always wait for the second day and the third day and the fourth day until you withdraw everything I believe the limit was to Bitcoin I'm not sure if they changed it recently but this is pretty much how it works and of course it does depend on the token that you do decide to withdraw there's a different limit on each of those tokens and you wish to transfer them across so what do you actually do well first you need to decide what cryptocurrency you want to transfer so let's say for example you want to transfer USDT Tether from another exchange such as Binance because that's where you purchased your crypto with fiat and you want to transfer them across to purchase a specific token on Bitmax so you choose USDT Tether here and then of course we've got different options you've got deposit withdraw and transfer trade is to take you to the actual exchange for trading deposit is to generate your deposit address and withdraw is to withdraw from this exchange to your wallet or to another cryptocurrency exchange and transfer is to transfer between different parts of the exchange that we've got here on Bitmax because there's also a margin trading exchange and a futures exchange which we'll look at in a moment but for the purpose of this we're going to take a look at USDT Tether and we're going to click on deposit to show you how it looks. So after we click on deposit here you will see the token name which is USDT Tether and the chain type so every single token on here is going to have a different chain type some of them are only going to have one chain type if they're only on their one blockchain but a lot of them are now on multiple blockchains so it may seem confusing but that's what it means right chain type means is referring to the blockchain and you got to be very careful on where you're actually transferring your funds now they do have some validation now most of these exchanges do so you can't just copy and paste the wrong address because you're going to see an error that it is the wrong address so it'll basically give you that chance to double check to make sure that you fix that mistake. Now so we do have three different options for USDT Tether and a lot of exchanges usually support these three options. ERC20 is the more, most expensive one so I don't recommend it. TRC20 is the cheapest one from the Tron blockchain. It is free in some cases and in other cases it'll cost you like as much as 50 cents which is nothing compared to ERC20 which could end up costing you $20 maybe even $30 maybe even more depending on the exchange or if you're transferring it from your wallet so that's just something to keep in mind now if you have no choice if you're if you have the funds on your wallet and you have no choice but to transfer ERC20 then it is what it is there's nothing you can do about that so you'll just have to pay the fees but if you if you do have them on another exchange you do have a choice go with the cheapest choice and that's of course TRC20 at the moment so all you have to do is you copy the address, it copies it to the clipboard and then you paste it in the withdrawal section of the USDT Tether TRC20 version on that exchange where you want to transfer them from. Of course you need to confirm your email, you need to enter your QFA code and some other security method that you've set up and once all that is done then the funds should go to the blockchain once they're confirmed. It'll, they'll get validated and then once they do so they'll be in the deposit history showing there as loading down at the bottom of the screen and then you can just simply have them uh, as your funds available on your account so that's pretty cool. Now the next thing I want to talk about here let's move back to the cash account. So the next thing I want to talk about here is in relation to the withdrawal section so let's say for example you bought a token let's say you bought a token or you sold a token and you got USDT Tether and you want to send them out so you go to the withdraw section here 
and then it's exactly the same as you would have on other cryptocurrency exchanges you choose the token type which is usdt tether in this case you choose the chain again trc20 is the cheapest if you plan to transfer to another cryptocurrency exchange you paste your address from the deposit section of that other cryptocurrency exchange you paste it here you enter the amount that you wish to withdraw, you pay the fee, and as you can see here, the fee is $30 for ERC20, which is expensive, only $0.50 cents for TRC20, and again, $20 for Omni, so we can see here why many people are using TRC20 at the moment, and then you click confirm, you confirm your email address or your email code, and the 2FA very likely as well, and once that's done, then you just wait for the blockchain to do its magic, and for the funds to arrive, of course. Now, the next thing I want to talk about here is in relation to the exchange. So let's have a look at the exchange. Now, this is the basic exchange. This is a spot trading exchange. And if you go to the trading tab, it's called the standard exchange under cash trading here. So how does this actually work? Well, you've got your sell orders here, which are in red. You've got your buy orders, which are in green. And then if you're interested to purchase something, let's say, for example, you are on the dot USDT pair, you click on dot. So now if you have USDT, uh, let's say you wish to buy DOT at 30.29.88 or 30.30 because the price is fluctuating quite a lot here as you can see. Let's say you want to buy 100 DOT, it tells you how much USDT you need. Okay, again you can scroll across this and, and modify this as you wish. You click on buy DOT and then a limit order will be placed and when it gets to that price it's going to fill you eventually and then once it fills you you're going to have your DOT which you can then send out to your wallet and again I have done a dedicated review, a dedicated tutorial of the Polkadot web wallet and of the Polka dot mobile wallet called Polka Wallet in order to show you how you can transfer funds over to your wallet because if you transfer them to your wallet you're in control of your crypto you need to make sure that you're keeping that passphrase or mnemonic seed phrase safe so that you don't lose the funds right nobody can take your crypto if you're in control of them if you're there if they're sitting on the exchange then you're at the mercy of the exchange if the exchange gets hacked you lose your funds assuming that they, they're not going to come back online right and if the uh, exchange uh, shuts down your account for whatever reason uh, because uh, they've triggered some kind of uh, dodgy activity or something then if that happens then again you lose your crypto so yeah always make sure that you don't keep more than you can afford to lose on the exchange unless you're trading of course if you're trading or if you're flipping if you're trying to buy low and sell high then that's okay but just make sure that you don't keep too much money on there so that you don't lose that crypto now the next thing i want to talk about is the market order so again just like a typical cryptocurrency exchange and i've covered this in other tutorials on other crypto tutorial uh, exchanges it's exactly the same logic right so the market order is basically if you don't want to wait uh, for the limit order to be filled and that's usually okay for trading pairs that don't have a lot of trading activity you simply click on the the, the amount of tokens that you wish to buy you click on the buy and then it'll just basically try to buy into these sell orders here up to the point that fi that it fills you depending on how much you want to buy let's say for example you wanted to buy 800 there isn't enough uh, to get 800 until it gets to 3030 here as you can see so you would actually pump the price until it gets to 3030 and then that would fill you so again it all depends on the bots trying to sell into you as well now the next uh, part of the exchange here and these are all the different token pairs okay so we're on the usdt token pair there is an ethereum token pair as well if you want to see the full list there's also a bitcoin token pair if you want to see another list here so it all depends on what you send across because not everything is on every single pair so for example dot is only on the dot usdt pair as you've seen okay so that's an example now there's also the professional exchange here which looks very much the same as the standard exchange as we can see here but it is a little bit slicker uh, you've got everything on the right hand side here and uh, it, it's also in dark mode and again you've got these different features within the graph within the chart here that you can check the moving average and so on to make um, to make it easier for you to track down the movement and so on if you're a trader mostly now if we uh, scroll down here there's also um, the margin tab so with margin again I'm not going to do a video on this but it's just for you to know that it does exist so again I do recommend you to learn how to trade before you use margin because you can lose your funds you can get liquidated here if the price moves against you you can you can you can short or you can long using mar margin and also using leverage so what that means is that you're playing with borrowed money pretty much right 3x is referring to 3x that 3x the amount that you've got so say for example you've got $1,000 if you trade with 3x it's like trading with $3,000 so if the price drops below 
your entry if up to a certain percentage i can't remember off the top of my head what it is but you can check that information here and it basically tells you and uh, you will get liquidated so that means you will lose the one thousand dollars because the price has dropped too much so that the exchange is trying to cover their losses and to prevent their losses pretty much by selling and liquidating you so that they can cover themselves and then of course the exchange never loses but you end up losing so that's why you have to be careful make sure you do your research on leverage trading and margin trading again this also has a standard page and a professional page there's also futures trading which is pretty much a gamble because this is with up to 100x leverage which means that if the price moves one percent in your favor or against you uh, you could double up your money or you could lose all of your money in a matter of seconds especially with the volatile market of cryptocurrencies using 100x is basically like going to a casino and gambling with your money so just be very careful with that now there's the activity section here which is the btm btmx investment multiple card so you can basically earn five five x the investment profit for 10 days per card there's the airdrop multiple card to get airdrops uh, as part of their events that they've got auctions promotions etc so you can get more info on that here if you look at these options there's of course the fiat payment which allows you to purchase uh, cryptocurrency here but not to sell using third-party provider and uh, so on so i mean this is it like it's very very basic to use uh, once you register once you log in here you have a play around and look through the different features you'll familiarize yourself with this but that's it from today's video i hope you found this informative if you did please don't forget to like the video and leave a comment below if you have any sort of questions thank you very much for watching us see you in my next video take care and have a lovely day Bye bye